I mean, I know what happens in the movie. I can't say what happens in the movie, but I can't say that absolutely does not happen in this film. I wish it did, but it doesn't. Hey, what's up? I'm Jessica Williams, and I am going to read you some theories about the Harry Potter world and Fantastic Beasts. Here's what I can tell you about Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. You know, everybody's got a bad ex, you know? And uh, Dumbledore definitely has a bad ex named Grindelwald, played by Mads Mikkelsen. Dumbledore recruits my character, Professor Yulali Hicks. She is the charms professor over at Ilvermorny, which is the North American wizarding school. And uh, she basically joins this ragtag group of misfits to help try and defeat Grindelwald. Mr. Kowalski, we need you. I said I want an out and I want out. Ah! Well, you do know I'm a witch, right? I think that's the best I could do without giving away anything because then they're gonna come and get me. If I, Jessica Williams, could be in any house in Hogwarts, it would absolutely be Gryffindor, no question. I mean, I am a Leo. I think Leos belong in Gryffindor. Um, there's a little bit of Hufflepuff to me, I've been told. When I'm feeling low key, I just want a cool night in and then I'm a Gryffindor. I love that, that's what you say, sorting hat. <laughs> I'm like, let me tell you, sorting hat, what I'm like. Hmm, difficult, very difficult. If I could be any house in Ilvermorny, I would absolutely be Thunderbird, no question. I know that Professor Yulali Hicks is a Thunderbird and I like the word Thunderbird. So all of those things make me want to be in Thunderbird. Okay, so I'm gonna read these theories and it looks like a lot of these have come from Reddit, which is just really funny because that's where I spend most of my time. Shout out to the Thalassophobia subreddit. I love you guys. Shout out to the Harry Potter subreddit. I read that. Anyway, I am excited to read some of these Reddit theories. Reddit theory disputed by FIFA 1995. Real identities in Fantastic Beasts. Nagini is Marope, middle. Stupidity, Credence is Tom Riddle Sr. Stupidity, Jacob is Hagrid's father. That's hysterical, okay. Here's what I will say. I did not say stupidity, stupidity is written on this card. However, I do think Jacob being Hagrid's father, I feel like it, it is likely because Dan has sort of this sort of scruff about him in a way, but I also feel like that's just absolutely not true because I will say I'm a six foot tall woman Dan is a lot shorter than me. So um, I'm gonna say no, okay. Reddit theory, Bigsy Big. Mary Poppins was a star employee in the Ministry of Magic. <laughs> okay, so she was a Ravenclaw at Hogwarts. After she passed her newts, with all five graded outstanding, she was offered a full-time job. Mary Poppins is never mentioned nor seen in Harry Potter because she was killed during the first rise of Voldemort for her unacceptable fondness for muggles and muggleborns. I actually really like this one a lot, that she was a Ravenclaw. I would absolutely buy that. There's something kind of like really pulled together, smart, and kind of that, that can be a quite severe about her. And I could absolutely see her in the Hogwarts world. So I kind of buy this. It sucks that she kind of just died during the first rise of Voldemort and that was just like never mentioned. Reddit theory from Sir Leon Lionel 13. Voldemort was a cannibal. Probably Voldemort eats people to connect his soul to theirs. So their soul rips his out on their way to the afterlife. I mean, yeah, I could buy that because he does a lot of bad shit, So what's gonna stop him from eating somebody if he's into it? He also kind of appeared, he has kind of a snake face. <laughs> Voldemort in particular strikes me as someone that would absolutely munch on somebody else's toes. Tweet from Ali Cassandra. Would anyone like a fic about Lally Hicks unobliviating her parents? I would love a fic on that actually. That seems really cool because I would love to do more movies where I get paid to be a really cool bad witch. And uh, I would like the fic, and then I would like the fic turned into a film. But I just thank you Harper's Bazaar for printing it on a piece of paper. That means that it matters, sort of, to someone. I appreciate that. A tweet from Bangkusles. More focus on main four, more big bro Theseus, Explanation, who the f Aurelius? More Jude Law, Professor Lally Hicks, three exclamation points, Tina Jacob friendship, Nagini, most important, 
fix mistakes from Crimes of Grindelwald. I support all of that. Bung Kus Lace or whatever is bouncing back and forth between character names and actor names, which is really funny to me. So just more Jude Law just as an actor, I guess. And I agree with that. I like Jude Law a lot. And just Professor Yalali Hicks, that's a part of this really long sentence as well. And you know what? Because I'm Yalali Hicks, I like that. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Mr. Scamander. Tina Jacob Friendship. I'm into that too. I stand Tina, I stand Jacob. I love that. I wanna see them as, you know, maybe potential sister-in-law. I think that that relationship between your sister's partner and a sister is really important. It's actually really, really fragile. And you know, you want your sister to marry someone that you could drink a beer with, or in this case, giggle water with. Reddit theory from Red Siren 2. Where is Tina? A theory, let's hear it. I'm positive about this. She makes a dramatic entrance to saving the group when they're attacked by the manticore that was foreshadowed in the trailers. And of course, the long awaited kiss with Newt, plus salamander eyes playing at full crescendo in the background. I can dream, right? Yeah, I mean, I know what happens in the movie. I can't say what happens in the movie, but I can't say that absolutely does not happen in this film. I wish it did, but it doesn't. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, the manticores are those little tiny lobster things that they make uh, Eddie Redmayne and Callum Turner, my fellow co-stars, dance with in this like cave. It's in the trailer. I didn't spoil it. The manticores can be pretty fierce, but I do know that she does not show up and save the group from manticores. That's what I can confirm. And then the long awaited kiss with Newt. I would love to see that actually. I love when people kiss in movies. It's very exciting to me, so I'm into that. Plus salamander eyes playing at full crescendo in the background. Salamanders. Okay, so you knew that part was a reach because at the end you said, I can dream, right? And yes, yes, Red Siren 2, you can. And I'm going to dream with you. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you go see Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore.